Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, we have to figure out how fast this driver has to go to make up for the time that he has lost by daydreaming while he's driving. So we know that the trip normally for the 440 miles takes him eight hours. So first we want to figure out how fast he typically goes whenever he's doing this trip. So velocity is equal to delta x over the change in time. So 440 miles divided by eight hours, or 40 divided by eight will give us 55 miles per hour. Because we have miles on the top divided by hours on the bottom, so MPH. So now we know how that's how fast he's typically going. And so we need to figure out how much time he's taken already. Now what I'd like to do is to draw a little diagram to represent what's going on, a little picture. So we know that the whole trip is 440 miles, but we're only 120 miles into the trip. So how much is left? So 440 subtract 120 is going to be 320. So this is how much we have left to do. So first, let's figure out what his time typically is when he's going this 120. We don't know what his speed has been, but we're going to figure that out by using the velocity equation. So time is equal to, we're going to multiply t over and then divide by v. So t will give us delta x over velocity. And now, we want to plug in what his typical time is for the 120 like we talked about. So we'll use the 120 miles divided by his typical velocity of 55 miles per hour. The miles will cancel, leaving us with hours on top. The units for that will be essentially miles over one and we're dividing by a fraction. When, when we divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So instead of miles on the top, now miles are on the bottom and hours are on the top. So this is how we end up with hours here. So when we have 120 divided by 55, the time that it typically takes him to get to this point is 2.18 hours. But they say in the trip that this time it's taking him 15 minutes longer than he usually is. So 2.18 plus a quarter of an hour, so plus 0 0.25 hours, plus 0 0.25. I'm going to uh, leave it as the not rounded answer right here, just so it's more precise. So we have 2.43 with all this. So we'll, we'll actually do the 2.43. So we have 2.43 hours is how far is how long it's taken him to this point where typically it takes him 2.18 hours to get to this point. So the whole trip takes him eight hours normally. So eight minus 2.43, eight minus 2.43 means that we have 5.57 hours, 5.57 hours left that we have to make up for the trip. We figured out that we have to do 320 more miles, so we need to figure out what speed will allow us to do 320 miles in 5.57 hours. So velocity is what we're looking for, and of course that equation as we talked about above is the change in the distance over the change in time. So 320 miles divided by the time of 5.57 hours will give us the answer in miles per hour. So 320 divided by 5.57 gives us 57.45, which we can round down to 57 miles per hour. So this is the answer in miles per hour for how fast he'll have to go to do the trip in the same amount of time that he typically does for the eight hours.